My name is Honey. I'm South African and I've been in Taiwan for a year. Cultural differences that I find positive in this country. Um, there's a very strong family bond, which is beautiful to see. Uh, it's very, um, very much a communal atmosphere, communal feeling. Uh, families go on outings together. Most people in the bigger cities have got families uh, in the south, in the outskirts, in the rural areas, and often go back and forth to see them. Uh, children are sort of under the age of six. Children are treated like like rare diamonds, which is also be just wonderful. That's really something. Um, they're loved and adored and spoiled quite viciously. After the age of six, they're sent to school and then they become little workers, uh, which is very disturbing. But, but yeah, before the age of six, that's lovely too. Um, I find them very humble people, Taiwanese. I find also once Taiwanese people get to know you and you are sort of embraced into their lives and into their worlds, they're incredibly warm, incredibly giving, incredibly kind. Um, I have a little boy that I teach and a four-year-old boy uh, that I give a private lesson to once a week. And for my birthday, his mom and his aunt took me out to a stunning German restaurant. Uh, then they discovered a Japanese restaurant and took me there because it was just so wonderful. They wanted me to try it out. Every time they go on holiday, they come back with gifts for me. They're super, super nice people. And yeah, I find a lot of the Taiwanese people I know are always ready to help out with whatever I need. So they're good. They're good, kind people that you could want. Uh, there is... The Chinese food is nothing like Chinese food back home. <laughs> it's a brand new taste experience, but it's good. Uh, and then there's there are loads of restaurants catering. There are loads of Western restaurants. There are Middle Eastern restaurants. There are there's everything. There's all variety. Uh, they're a little more expensive the Western restaurants, but it's worth it. <laughs> it can get lonely in Taiwan in the beginning. Um, like anywhere, you know, like every time you leave your comfort zone, every time you leave what you're used to and the people you're used to, it gets lonely. Uh, I really think that Taiwan gets blamed for a lot of things that wouldn't, that would happen in real life and in real life, that would happen in normal life. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, people have People have ups and downs no matter where they live and back home you have great days and you have really bad days but back home when you're having a bad day you sort of look at it and go oh I'm just having a bad day whereas here people have a bad day and be like oh I hate Taiwan I want to go home it's so terrible get all melodramatic about it. Um, it yeah I can get lonely here just like I can get lonely anywhere else you pull yourself out of it you have um, everyone I know has phenomenal friends here it's not just me uh, and you do you have phenomenal friends and it's easy to get out of it. Life, life is good here. Life is really good here. I think if you teach children, you have to love children. You spend all your days with them, you spend all your time with them, you can't not love them. Or if not love them, at least like them. You have to like children. Um, it's very different. I, I can't really talk about teaching adults and children in the same way because it's two very, very different things. Uh, I think, you, yeah, you need to be patient. You need to like people. You need to. You need to not be scared of the adventure, and you need to be able to take things in your stride, completely. Because things will happen. Things will blindside you. Things will be un unexpected and sometimes inexplicable. <laughs> you need to just learn to take it in your stride. So just kind of be easygoing, and be ready for an adventure. Working with Taiwanese people is kind of like what I said about Taiwanese people before. They will go out of their way to help you if you need help. Um, but the whole saving face thing becomes a little bit difficult because you don't always know where you stand. And you don't always know what's going on. Um, the employers I have are particularly nice though. I, I don't really have problems at school at all. <laughs> the dating scene for a woman is atrocious in Taiwan. It's really not good. Uh, I really wanted to have a Taiwanese boyfriend when I came here. Or, I mean, I was really open to the idea of dating a Taiwanese man. Uh, I thought it would be a great way to learn about the culture. I, th I thought it would be a great way to learn the language. I thought it would be a great way to just get involved in things. Um, sadly, <laughs> a year later, still hasn't worked out for me. I have only dated foreigners. It's, 
It's hard, firstly from a language point of view. Um, Taiwanese, most Taiwanese men that you will meet out will be really shy and embarrassed to talk to you because they feel insecure and uncomfortable because they don't know English, which is silly because I don't know Chinese and I should know Chinese since I live in Taiwan. But it makes, it makes meeting people really hard. Uh, the other thing is, because a lot of the Taiwanese men don't know English, <laughs> it's hard to communicate if you don't know Chinese. And then there's a, there's a big cultural divide too, in, just in the dating world. Uh, Taiwan is quite a patriarchal society, I find. And so, in a relationship, a man needs to be the man. And most of the foreign girls that are here come from... Well, in fact, not most. All the foreign girls that are here come from countries where they're very independent and they're on an equal footing with men. And so they're used to holding their own and they're used to relationships where two partners are equal. And, it's, and it makes it hard from some of the girlfriends that I have had who've dated Taiwanese men. It makes it really difficult to have a normal relationship or to have any kind of relationship. I have made a huge amount of foreign friends. I find, I find that people that come to Taiwan are different to your regular run of the mill. I don't know what it is and I don't know why and I don't know what it is about Taiwan specifically that draws a certain type of person. But I think, I mean, I guess it's just the whole traveler mentality as well. People realize that they only have a limited amount of time together. Most people come here for a year, so because you know that you only have a small time, small amount of time to be with somebody, uh, the walls are down sooner. Um, people don't have the barriers that they do, so friendships just become really real and intense really quickly, which is beautiful. Uh, people are a lot more open, people are really friendly, and there's also a communal feeling of, we're in this together. <laughs> I tried really hard to make Taiwanese friends. I haven't made as many as I'd like. I do have some, and the ones that I have are also exceptional people. But I, I find it really hard to make friends with Taiwanese people here. Firstly because um, there's a difference in culture. It definitely is. Uh, I had a weird thing where I made friends with some girls and every time I had you know, activities going on, we're going for dinner, we're going for drinks or something like that, they'd come to and invite them as well. And then it turns out that they were having things of their own and not inviting me, so I sort of asked them what was going on and why. And it's not done to be rude or malicious or with ill intent, it's actually done. Their response was, we thought you had better things to do. And that really is the mentality, it's kind of like, we 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 don't want to put you out in any way, we, do you know what I mean, like almost like they, they didn't think I would want to, it's very strange. The other thing that makes it really hard to make friends with Taiwanese people is that they work exceedingly, exceedingly hard in this country. Um, all the girlfriends I have, all the friends that I've made work really long hours, they don't really go out during the week. Um, and also most of them live at home with their parents. So they don't have much of a social, oh, parents and grandparents and everyone. It's just harder to have a social life. Um, I find the foreigners here kind of live in Never Never Land. <laughs> the Taiwanese people live real lives. So it's hard. I will take with me probably, not probably, I, I feel like I'm going to look back on this time as the happiest time of my life ever. Because it has been from every point of view. I love what I do. I love teaching, I love working with children, and I think I may do this for the rest of my life. Um, I love my friends, I have a really big circle of friends of really good people, like amazingly good people. I, I have a great job, I have great friends, I have a great apartment. I, I have so much, I'm so happy, I really truly am. I'm going to take back a phenomenal period of my life.